Okay, our next segment we're going to look at is working on the shoulders and the shoulder blade. So we're connected to the trapezium muscle, but then we're going to go through the rhomboid and the upper spinal column. So we can feather it first or just knead the trapezium muscles just to see what sort of texture he's holding on to. Then you can tell as we're going down with thumbing, he has tightness here. It's like when you follow it off the shoulder blade, you'd find these, these big muscles that are entrapping or they're tighter than normal. So this is rhomboids pulling back to the shoulder blade. Then we can always bend it back like a chicken wing. Lean your leg against it, then his arm, then you just quietly follow around the contours of the blade. Now, this is pinpointing everything and you're using a thumb to follow the muscles round. But if you're just doing relaxation work, you would just, it's slightly different again. You oil up the subject, follow it round, but then you would do feathering work. Allowing your, th it's called the tiger's mouth, to follow the contour and cup round. This way it's, it's a lot more comfortable and it feels a lot more soothing. But then you've got the spine of the shoulder blade, which is the infraspinatus and supraspinatus which is the bone on top or it's basically three quarters above the shoulder blade and you'll feel a bony protrusion so the infra and supraspinatus is the top and bottom part of the bone and that releases gunk back to the point of the shoulder. Again, if you find the muscle isn't releasing enough, you sometimes have got to work it a bit harder and break down the build up. So you follow where the build up is and actually release it by the spine going back to the shoulder blade. Then you can do it another way. I'll get you to line your side there Mark. And this is hand is supporting the shoulder, the, fore, the arm behind, resting your leg against his hip, finding the contours of the shoulder blade, then you grip it and you rock it against your thigh. And that's stretching the shoulder blade. Then you can draw the arm back and work the blade from the top. And you can, or otherwise, you can pinpoint it. Pinpointing means follow every contour and anything that feels hard or knotty, you've got to actually work. There'll be lots of pain, but the person will feel great after. So just work quietly when the body is locked up. Okay, people, so learn to experiment. Any congestion 
just break it down. 